to HR and Recruiter TV November Bulletin, brought to you by the Technology in Recruitment Alliance and sponsored by Smart Recruit Online, CV Library and Appsco. Making the recruitment headlines this month. A comprehensive study of HR managers has highlighted a lack of concern over absenteeism, with just 15% of those surveyed now considering it a high priority. The study was conducted by Imperial College Business School and commissioned by the PMI Health Group. It targeted HR directors and managers and also revealed that over a third of HR practitioners said demonstrating a return on investment was actually their number one priority over the next 12 months. Given that ROI has never really featured highly on the HR agenda in the past, there will be eager anticipation amongst the business community to see how this change in focus impacts the bottom line. It's depressing news for UK business as the cost of stress and depression to UK business hits £1,000 per employee per year. According to the European Depression Association, depression is costing UK businesses just over £1,000 per employee per year, equating to £26 billion across the UK economy. It was found 15% of people in the UK have taken time off due to depression. In response to this, some of the largest employers in Europe, including the Royal Mail Group and Barclays, have joined together to create a committee in the aim to help other organisations reduce the impact on business. In another set of research, it was found that bosses are the primary cause of workplace depression and not workload. Apparently, being treated unfairly by management has the greatest effect on an employee's mood, while a heavy workload has little or no effect, a new study has shown. It's a fact employers are missing out on top talent through a lack of mobile savvy. Employers who have not adapted their job advertising to mobile are missing out on talent. According to a new survey conducted by Monster that has revealed only 39% of UK businesses have a site that works effectively on mobile devices, yet a third of job seekers are using their mobiles to search for jobs. In addition to that, companies using online registration pages or pre-screening services that are not mobile friendly are effectively writing off any applicant that wants to apply to their job with a mobile device. The Queen pays her staff an average of £44,724, almost 70% more than the national average wage, according to a report by the National Audit Office. It revealed in 2012 to 2013, the Royal Household employed 436 staff with a total wage bill of £19.5 million. The new report also gives detailed breakdown of the Queen's finances and revealed that she is down to her last £1 million, leaving her vulnerable to unexpected costs. Oh. Moving on to sweeter things, Haribo has revealed plans for a £92 million factory which will create 286 jobs. The factory in Castleford is expected to be completed by April 2015 and will be producing 48,000 tonnes of sweets each year. Business Secretary Vince Cable was quoted as saying, this is tangfastic news and a real boost for the region. An interviewee recently landed a new job after chasing down the company boss's iPhone thief. This is a story to warm the hearts of all job seekers. While awaiting an interview, Florian Betiov saw a man enter the company showroom, steal the phone and run away. So Florian chased the man until he eventually gave in and gave the phone back. The company owners were so impressed with Florian's act of bravery, they offered him the job stating he is just the sort of person that they need in their business. We now believe that he is working in their security department. And for this month's useless piece of news, a Leamington Spa waitress cast a spell the Wookiee Hole judges to land a £50,000 a year witch roll at the local tourist attraction. She will be replacing Sunny Vanderpuss, who is leaving the cave to start her own vintage clothing shop in Little Bottomley. And finally, the country was plunged into near chaos by the 50 mile per hour winds of St Jude as it raged across the UK. Thousands of people were prevented from getting to work on time as roads, bridges and rail networks were affected. Hurricane St Jude, named after the patron saint of lost causes, aptly sums up the country's apparent inability to deal with any adverse weather conditions. Well, that's all from me. I'm Kirsty Nichols, speaking for Recruiter TV, brought to you by the Technology in Recruitment Alliance and sponsored by Smart Recruit Online, CV Library and Appsco. If you've enjoyed listening today, don't forget to leave comments and hit the subscribe button.